Gear Gyan with me, Sahil Jagdiani, where we talk about all things related to the Indian Guitar Gear scene. And in today's episode, we've got another mega acoustic guitar unboxing, courtesy of my pal Siddharth from Sound Glitz. But before we get into it, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. Okay, so I've been sent five guitars from Siddharth at Sound Glitz to review. Uh, these are my first impressions out of the box. Let's check it out and uh, get unboxing. The first box is something from D Angelico, New York. Let's see what's in the box. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you've got one of these neck protectors in the box, which is always welcome. Boom, here it is. An Allen wrench and a spare bridge pin. It's pretty standard. Let's move that. We've got a sticker here. John D'Angelico, we've got you covered, but this is not covered. You know what I mean? Sorry, man, sorry. Anyway, let's open this up. Alright, that's a beautiful looking headstock. Oof. Wow, that's nice. So this is a cutaway dreadnought shape. What does it say? Premier Bowery. Okay, it's got EXP string on it. Let me check. Yep, it's got strings that last. EXP coated Diodario. Dadario. Yeah, strings. The Angelico Dadario match made in heaven. Alright. First impressions. I love this rustic look. Oof, look at that. Nice, and even the tuners have this rust, rustic look. It looks aged beautifully. Everything else is spankingly brand new. It's got a D Angelico, uh, what you call it, uh, preamp system over here with a tuner on board. It says here 41,000, could be cheaper. I'll leave uh, the link in the description below so you can go and check out the latest price yourself. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool, pretty nice. Okay, let me get it in tune. Okay, so it tuned up. This was shipped, I think, in B standard, so... Ooh, sounds nice. First impression sounds very shiny, very nice. I just love the overall uh, aesthetics of uh, you know this uh, truss rod cover. Yeah, it looks like a premium instrument. Let's get on to guitar number two. So guitar number two is something I've been looking forward to for quite some time. Uh, this is the uh, one of the Enya guitars. Uh, I have the Enya ukulele. I've done a review of it. You can go and check it out in the card above somewhere there. And yeah, um, really uh, nice uh, ukulele. So I'm presuming the uh, budget range uh, or mid budget range of guitars will also be of a certain quality. Let's check it out. It's this one. I think I'm in two of them for review. So I'm just going to put that there. It's tough, you know, unboxing, <laughs> not banging anything around the room. Oh, wow, this is nice. This is quite cool. Ooh, look at this. These are the goodies you get in the box. Okay. Um, similar, not since I whacked the uh, Get Market Dad, similar to that one in terms of the uh, accessories, I would think. Uh, I think with Get Market, you get a, a beautiful gig bag and, uh, you know, bridge pins and uh, like a wire instrument cable. Yep, instrument cable. Ooh, this is a nice quality one. Look at that. It's, they've not gone cheap with those, you know, cheap uh, budget level cables. These are good quality cables, man. Nice. Well, how much this instrument costs? Find out. Keep this aside. Okay, what's in the pouch? In the pouch. You've got a strap. That's quite a lot of stuff. Maybe it's 40,000 bucks for this guitar. I don't know how to check. I think the D'Angelico one was like 41,000 and it was like uh, uh, no accessories with that. Um, 
quite a lot of goodies. Strings. Enya music. I think. Oh, pics. That's cute. Uh, EAC02. What's this? Capo. Ooh, nice. That's really good. It's got a lot of stuff, actually, you know? Anything else? Oh, there's a tuna. This is a really good package. I'm quite interested. Oh, cloth. One of those uh, cleaning cloths. This is a really good package. Let's see if the guitar matches up to our expectations. All right. Inside. We've got some documentation. I think this is the same thing that I got. This talks about hmm, setting the neck relief HPL material. So this is a Koa HPL guitar, okay? High pressure laminate, acoustic plus technology. I think this is the same as mine, right? F1. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. Hmm, I think so. I'll figure it out. All right, keep that aside. Let's Dear Enya owner, thanks. I'd like a certificate of authenticity. Very nice. I'm really impressed by the accessories that came with this baby. And this gig bag is a nice gig bag. Huh? It's not one of those cheapo type gig bags. Okay, this is a beautiful, beautiful looking instrument. 25,000 bucks. Hey, I mean, it's a laminate body, so you'd expect that, but look at that. That's nice. That's one beautiful looking guitar. Mm. Koa. Yeah, it's laminate. It's got a one of those uh, tailor things that we saw on the side guitars happening as well. This is a nice instrument. At 25k, this is a good budget instrument. Huh? Very nice. Very, very, very nice. I'm looking forward to this review. I'll go into more detail later. Let me get my tuner and tune it up. Okay, so it's in tune. Uh, again, it's uh, sent with the strings uh, quite slack, which is a good thing because it doesn't scratch uh, the frets then. Um, so yeah, um, pretty good, not B standard of course, like the D Angelico, but pretty loose. Ooh, that's a nice warm tone. I was not expecting that for, a, a, for an HPL uh, style instrument. Quite resonant. forward to this review. It's a it's a interesting shape also. It's not really a G is it a G? No, it's slightly smaller, right? Let me check this. Now I'm gonna make this beat. Oh yeah, it is a G there. Not really, it's smaller than a GA. It's smaller than a GA. I'm gonna figure out what this shape is. Um looks very interesting. Very very nice, very nice. Quite like it. I like the look and feel of it. Looking forward to the review. Next guitar. All right, for guitar three, we have a Fender box. But it's not a Fender inside, I can assure you about that. What's inside? Let's find out. Ooh, it's another D'Angelico, but this time there's no, we got you covered sticker, huh? So. Does that come only with their premium instruments? Well, this looks premium as well. This is very nice. Okay, similar to the Bowery, what is this? This is a Grammar C. Grammar C, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I'm not, uh, tough. Um, 41,000 again. Nice tuners, huh? These aged tuners. These look like those. Uh, what was it, that, that brand of guitar, electric guitar? I think it was Hagstrom, right? Hagstrom, they used to do these kinds of tuners on their Swede and other instruments. Very nice. Okay, so is the tuner working? No, there's no battery inside. Let me get my tuner and tune up this baby. Okay, so 
So it's pretty much in tune. It was just basically almost a half step down um, between a half step and the actual tuning. Um, yeah, I think this might be one of the pieces that they have in their store. Um, actually, it's a lot better. Ooh, nice. Little boxy. I wonder if this is a solid top or not. I'm gonna find out before the next uh, review of this product. Nice, cute. Um, this is, I think, a GA style shape. Yeah, grand auditorium shape. So, that yeah, looks nice. I love the, uh, the bridge pins, man. They've got like abalone uh, on top of them. So yeah, this one feels a lot nicer to play and it probably has been played a bit in the store. That's why it's like probably broken in nicely. Nice, it's a nice instrument. On to the fourth guitar. And next up we have a Fender. Do we? No, we don't. We have something else inside here. Uh, I think it's another Enya because I'm supposed to get two Enyas, yeah, so one of the Kua and one something else I'm find out, yep, yeah, it's the Enya with all the accessories in the box same things you've already seen those so I'm not gonna bother with that right now just gonna get the guitar out Whew! There's a lot of stuff inside here We go on new box. Ah, okay, so this is a different looking uh, uh, gig bag compared to the other one, but just as thick, just as nice. Okay, and ooh, this is one of those. Uh, what's this model? I don't know. It's a carbon fiber back in size. What is the next carbon fiber as well? I don't know, but man, it's nice. Pretty heavy compared to the other one. Spruce, okay, Nova G Spruce. Could be laminate, I don't know. Uh, let me give this aside. Okay, what came in the box? We have a Nova G booklet. Yes, G, O, G, low G, so no G. It's in Chinese, so. Nehoma, no idea. What's happening with that one? You've got your strings, you've got some kind of a charging point. Oh. Is there something, a charging thing happening? Okay, that's pretty nice. You've got three uh, controls. What was that for? Maybe it's the trans acoustic system. I don't know. I'll find out, I'll read about it. It's yeah, you've got a cleaning cloth, takes, you've got the usual excellent accessory bundle from Enya, uh, straps, strap, uh, premium cable, these are nice instrument cables, wow. Oh, Nova, if you're watching this, send me one of these, I like it. Maybe we can do some of the other guitars. Okay, tune up time, tune up time. Okay, so it's already pretty much in tune. Uh, I think this would be one of those uh, uh, guitars from the shop. Let me check the action. Yeah, neck relief's okay. Action seems to be. Very nice, very nice action. Oh, this is my kind of action. Neck feels a bit. chunky bit strange because I uh, yeah I think this is definitely a composite material of, of some kind because is it doesn't ring out but I mean I'm comparing it to a koa finish so that was amazing but this is also really good you know the other benefit of having one of these instruments is that uh, they just don't move in terms of the neck, in terms of the action, it just stays as it is, you know. So I've noticed that about the Nova uh, ukulele, I mean, I set it up once and that's it. I mean, I've just been playing, you know, the life out of it for the ukulele lessons. If you haven't watched the ukulele lessons, go up here, click there 
go and check them out. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think this Nova brand is pretty nice for the right. I don't know what the price range is. Isn't price written here somewhere? I think it might be similar to that Koa price. I don't know. Maybe maybe 30, 40k. I have no idea what the prices are for both those instruments. I'm going to leave it here now. Hello, you can see what the price is. I have no idea. All right, on to the last and final guitar. All righty then, we're on to the last, but definitely not the least. It's got some bling, man. It's got some bling in this beautiful box. What's inside the box? It's gold, it's from Court. You know, I've already done a D6 review from the series. Um, I was very curious to see how the quality of the, uh, you know, the pickup would be on the, you know, on, a, on the same instrument or on a similar instrument. So, uh, he's lent me one of the others. It's an OC6 or something. I'm not sure. I'm gonna find out. Put it down. Ooh. All right, man. There we go. Woo. A lot of work. A lot of work, baby. Okay, anything inside the box? Let's cover. You got your very interesting L-shaped Allen wrench. You got oh Fishman, please God, don't be the priestess too. Something else, flex, 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 man, flex. Tuna, very nice. Three things basically. You got three knobs, volume, blend, tone. Nice. So now the blend would probably be between. Uh, your sound hole mounted condenser perfect and the pier so maybe uh, yeah that's it yeah let's take that mm -hmm. probably is all right <laughs> okay this is something i've been looking forward to reviewing you know i've been looking out for a, a, a nice uh, orchestra model um, this is one of the guitars on my shortlist. Of course, right now, getting a Martin is a bit of a long shot. Um, it says here 56k, but I'm pretty sure it's a little bit cheaper than that. Um, I'll leave the link again in the description below so you can check out the latest price. Okay, so I'm gonna get my tune up, tune up and uh, see how this thing plays. Yeah, strings aren't catching. I'm gonna have to stretch them a little bit uh, before the review. Ooh, beautiful. That's very resonant. Ooh, bright and shiny and just what I expect from this kind of an instrument. I wonder if these are uh, solid with those back insides. Oh, it's a, there's a tune over here. <laughs> Didn't need to get my tuna, but still. Mm. Looking forward to the review. Does it have Grover's on it? Yes. Grover open back tuners on it. Very nice, very nice. I may get gas and may be tempted to pick this particular piece up. I don't know. I will see. We'll make my decision later after the review. Okay? Because I have been looking for, uh, you know, uh, an instrument like this. Um, let's see. I don't want to jump the gun, okay? I'm really looking forward to reviewing all these five guitars. I'm not going to do much work on them. Just for this one, maybe sand the, the saddle down a little bit. Um, other than that, just going to leave it the way, you know, they've come to me. Special thanks to Siddharth for making this unboxing possible and for lending me these five guitars for the length of the review. Again, I'm not paid by any of these companies. I'm not paid by Siddharth. It's just a favor that I've asked to get these guitars on the show. For your benefit for you to uh, make the best decision in uh, you know in buying a product that suits your needs uh, if you'd like to see any particular instruments that are available at sound glitz uh, on the sound glitz website uh, any of the acoustic guitars uh, just uh, leave it in the you know comment section and maybe i'll talk to him and we can get it in the next batch